Janine, and then slightly a little shaky. That's all right. Uh, just try to relax. You want to tell me about it? Is that necessary? Does it bother you? Well, what I have to say may sound a little strange. We're professionals, Miss Barrett. Anything you say will be strictly confidential. I think my apartment is haunted. What makes you think so? Oh, shit. Um, uh, batteries must be dead. Uh, go ahead, Mr. Barrett. I'll, I'm just going to take them off. Oh, damn it. I'm sorry. Um, we're just getting organized. Uh, go ahead. I'll make that Well, maybe I should come back when things are a little more together. No, no, wait, wait, wait. All right, here's pencils. Go on. Go ahead. Listen. <clears throat> oh, thank you. Now, tell me everything that happened exactly as you experienced. Something in my refrigerator is trying to get me. Okay, I'll go the other side. We're good. My friends think I'm taking LSD. I haven't had the nerve to tell my parents yet. Why don't you just move? It took me three years to find this place. I'm not giving it up that easy. Okay, that's the spirit. Now, what, what's in there? That's a dead one. But nothing ever happened in there. What? No, no, nothing. Uh, is that the kitchen? Uh -huh. Well, let's check it out. I'll wait here. Skipping to 35, scene 47. Right? Uh, there's nothing there now, and I don't get any significant reading. But that doesn't mean that what you saw wasn't real or that it won't happen again. That's terrific. Either there's a monster in my kitchen or I'm completely crazy. If it's any comfort to you, I don't think you're crazy. Oh, thanks. Coming from you, that really means a lot to me. I'm a qualified psychologist. Hysteria was my specialty, and you don't show any of the classic symptoms. I believe that something happened here, and I want to do something about it. All right. What do you want to do? I think I should spend the night. That's it. On a purely scientific basis. I'll... I want to help you. I'll scream. Don't scream. Then leave. Okay, okay, but if anything else happens, you have to promise you'll call me. All right. Okay, then I'll go. Goodbye. You know, if I didn't know better, I would almost believe that you cared for me more than you should. I was merely playing my part. And very well. I'm sure Jack is going to be a happy man to the end. Tomorrow. When he dies on the yacht. I'm well aware of what happens tomorrow. Good. You know, we've come too far to have you lose your head over him. We're very close to having everything we want. Don't give me reason to distrust you. Distrust me? I would think last night would be enough proof of my loyalty. I did my job. Now Jack is perfectly willing to carry out the charade. And I'll be by his side all night to make sure he does that. 